So far we have talked about different Linux features, about management of directories, files, about Linux, soft and hard and so on. And now it's time to talk about find command and using this command you could easily and fast find different files and folders using different filter criteria. And first of all, please verify whether find is available in command line, please type find and yes, this command is available. And as you see, when you simply enter find command, you already see some results. And basically, in this case, you see all files and folders that are located in current directory. And at the moment, current directory is home directory for this particular user, it is slash root. And here above, you see whole list of all files located in this folder. And the recap that we have created the several files and directories before, let me list them ls-la. And I see, for example, such folder as etc-backup-2. And actually this folder was copied from etc folder. Also before we have created such files as file1.txt, file2.txt and so on. Find command is very, very powerful. And it has a lot of different options. And before showing you some examples, please open up uh, man pages for this command. Open up Google Chrome and type here man pages find and click on this first link. And here you'll see description of this find command. And it is used for search of files and directories. Here is a large description of this command and afterwards you see some options. And here is difference between find and other commands that we have used before. Find command has regular options like dash p, capital P, dash capital L, and so on. But it also has additional options that come after argument. And this part of command is called expression. Argument for find command is actually path to specific folder. For example, as argument you could use dot, find and dot. Dot here is argument for find command. Or you could use as argument, for example, such path, slash bin. Or you could use the relative path, like two dots, slash and so on. It is argument for find command. But after argument you could use additional options that are available only in find command. And this part that comes after this argument, after path, is called expression. And expression consists of multiple options, and you could use multiple options simultaneously. For example, if you scroll down, you'll see such options as dash day start, dash follow, dash regex type, and so on. And please notice here difference between options that we have used and discussed before and those options. I have told you before that uh, single dash is used with single character options like dash L, dash C and so on. But here you see that here long versions of options like day start are used with single dash. And that's because those options are called positional options and they are used inside of the expression that comes after arguments inside of the find command. Alright, that is the structure of the find command. It contains regular options, argument and additional expression that contains different options like they start and so on. If you scroll down here, you may find bunch of such kind of options like max depth, min depth, mount and so on. And if you scroll down, you may find some examples of usage of this find command. Here they are. And for example, in this command, this slash temp is actually argument. And after argument, you see multiple operators. Here is operator dash name, here is one more operator dash type, and here is additional operator dash print. Notice that some of those operators may have own arguments. And core here is argument for this dash name operator. F is argument for this operator, dash type. And dash print doesn't have any operators. Also, if you want, you could pipe result of find command via std out to std in of another command. And in one of the next lectures, I'll explain you what is xargs here. For now, please understand that find contains non-traditional arguments and they come after 
argument that is actually path to a specific folder. All right, now let's dive into examples and let's examine capabilities of find command. But let's proceed with that after the small pause. See you next. Bye.